So Common and Jennifer Hudson have been confirmed to be in a relationship and the internet is losing its mind. This is because Common has a bit of a reputation of being a walking red flag and people are telling Jennifer to run. But then Common is out here insisting that he is now a changed person, claiming that Jennifer is the one for him and that she's going to make him stay. But has Common really changed for good or is he just messing around yet again? Now Common is a great guy, has lots of fans who genuinely love him and all that stuff but people are not here for him and Jennifer dating. This disapproval has nothing to do with Jennifer and everything to do with Common because based on his dating history and what he has said over the years, people believe that this relationship is already doomed. And honestly, it's not hard to see why people would feel this way about him because he has been in a lot of relationships that never seem to lead anywhere. In fact, not only did the relationships not lead anywhere, but most of them seemed downright toxic on Common's part. He has been linked to a couple of female celebrities like Taraji P. Henson, Erica Badu, Serena Williams, and so many more. But it wasn't until he started dating commentator Angela Rye that we knew just how messed up he was. They started dating sometime in 2017, but they broke up after a while. At first, we all assumed that it was your typical casual Hollywood relationship and that their interests had simply faded. But it turned out that the reason for the breakup was that Common could not bring himself to be in a committed relationship. While he didn't cheat on her, well at least not that we know of, he had some major commitment issues that caused a lot of issues in the relationship. After the breakup, he did the smart thing and decided to go to therapy so that he could work out his issues. He did therapy for a few months and after that, he was convinced that he was healed so he revealed that he was ready to be in a serious committed relationship with the right woman which would eventually lead to marriage. You want to be a husband one day. You have a, a rather famous relationship coach. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah that, yes, uh, Michelle Obama. She has definitely helped talk me through just certain moments of relationships. We had conversations and she has given me a lot of wisdom. But one great thing that, that she told me as I was going through this journey was that you have to understand you're not going to get anybody that's perfect because you're not perfect. So understand that there's some certain things that you will compromise in, in, in choosing that partner. But long, as long as the, the core values, the values that are most important to you, that person, you know, marks off on that list, then you good. She gave some good advice there. That's good wisdom. She does some really good wisdom there. Yeah. Then in 2019, he met Tiffany Haddish while they were both working on the movie The Kitchen and sparks immediately flew between them. Insiders revealed that they were both into each other and people around them were totally expecting them to announce a relationship. But for some reason, Common decided not to pursue Tiffany any longer and he rekindled things with his ex, Angela Rye. It was weird for him to lead Tiffany on like that, only to drop her like a hot potato, but hey, at least there were high expectations for this relationship with Angela. I mean, he had been to therapy and he even claimed that he was open to getting married. So he should have settled down with Angela given their history, right? Well, wrong. Their relationship suddenly came to an end when Angela started talking about kids and Common immediately backed up because he wasn't sure that he wanted to have any more kids. And once the relationship with Angela packed up, he was back at Tiffany Haddish's front door begging her to give him a chance. Well, Tiffany still had feelings for him so she decided to give him a shot. They started dating in early 2020, but they kept their relationship private for some time. They quarantined together during lockdown and they even announced their relationship in the cutest way possible. Tiffany was on an Instagram live session with Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade when she tilted the camera to show Common in the background. We'll continue to talk about the other T a little later. Yeah. Uh, oh! oh. oh. What? They had the perfect relationship for a while until things started falling apart. Again, Tiffany opened up about how she wanted kids and even wanted to fall foster some children somewhere down the line. Yeah, this also caused an issue between Common and Tiffany, but they managed to stick it through. But the relationship got shaky from that point. Okay, so for her 41st birthday, Tiffany told Extra TV that she was hoping for something really special with her man Common. She said, I'm just hoping me and my man, we go on hot air ballooning and have us a nice little meal. That's what I would like to do. Every birthday, I try to do something I've never done before. I feel like it's an exciting way to live life. On my 39th birthday, I got drunk with my grandma, never did that before. 
and my 40th birthday, I had a bat mitzvah and that was super fun. This birthday, 41, I wanted to go up in a hot air balloon. But Common only got her a bunch of flowers and called it a day. But Tiffany was not bothered and she even revealed that she wanted him to propose to her. She said she wanted him to propose to her with a piece of real estate and this is what Common said about that. I'll do what's good for, for me and the lady. <laughs> you know, right now all I want is happiness, good times, um, peace on earth. <laughs> Yeah, at this point, I think it was becoming clearer and clearer to Tiffany that he had no intention on making things real. And coupled with the whole thing about him not wanting kids, it's not surprising that they soon broke up in November 2021 after dating for a little over a year. You see, according to Common, the real reason his relationships always end is because he is very particular about his relationships. In his memoir, he revealed that he always has a fear that something is going to go wrong in his relationship or his partner is going to let him down or show a part of herself that he'll be unable to deal with. He says he loves the feeling of being loved, but if he feels like things are moving too fast, he can drop everything and everyone. Now, Common has largely kept a low profile since then when it comes to his relationship life, but he was recently linked to Jennifer Hudson and like I said her fans are not here for it and they are begging her to run. I mean knowing what we know about Common it's not really that hard to understand why people are not so sure about this relationship. But to be fair Jennifer also has had her fair share of baggage as well. While she doesn't suffer from commitment issues like Common she has a messy breakup to her name. In 2008 she got engaged to David Otunga who is a professional wrestler. They have one son together but they broke off their relationship in 2017 after David accused her of cheating on him and Jennifer accused him of DV. Anyways, back to Jennifer and Common. They've been running in the same Hollywood circles for some time now, but things heated up when they both worked on the movie Breathe in 2022. And the internet lost it when they were spotted out on a date in Malibu. However, Jennifer denied the dating rumor saying, people create their narratives of it. We shot a film together and he played my husband. We gotta eat in between those moments. But a source claimed otherwise saying they've known each other for years Things took a romantic turn while they were filming in Philadelphia over the summer. When the day's shoot wrapped, they always find their way to each other's side. Now, these two are still trying to keep things low key, but at this point, it's super clear that they are in a relationship. I mean, he even flew to London to show his support for her musical, A Strange Loop. An insider revealed there has been speculation for months regarding whether or not they are together, but the fact that they've traveled all the way to London together just shows they're very much an item. They arrived to the show individually to avoid any commotion, but away from prying eyes, they are very much in each other's company. Yeah, flying to a whole different continent is a pretty big deal, and people are starting to believe that maybe Jennifer could be the one for him after all. And according to an insider, Common feels the same way about her. He believes that she is the one for him because she is honestly different from any woman that he has dated in his past. Her EGOT status impressed him from the very start, but she manages to keep him on his toes at all times. Common has been quite open about how he enjoys the chase and insiders reveal that he had to chase Jennifer hard. He also finds her funny and smart and believes that she checks all his boxes and what he wants in a partner and that she completes him. Okay, so it looks like our man Common is hooked by Jennifer's charm, but like I said, people are not buying it. They left comments online saying stuff like, Common and Jennifer Hudson? For some reason, I'm not optimistic. Jennifer gonna soon find out that Common belongs to the community and or he's for the people. And never judge a book by its cover. On the outside, Common looks like an intellectual, sensible man. Inside, he is if toxic was a person. But what do you guys think about this new relationship? Do you really believe that Jennifer has changed Common or do you think she needs to run? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and then check out this next video.